development and peace as, as people helping promote all over the world, uh, you know, good works and, uh, well, justice and peace. If there's a calamity, if there's a situation that we respond to it, uh, development and peace is always there. Caritas was one of the agencies that helped us in some of our programs in my diocese in the Philippines during typhoons or other natural calamities. It really helps us to understand better the struggles that people have in different parts of the world. Development and peace is specifically social justice. It, 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 the difference between charity and social justice is charity is a, an immediate temporary response to a problem. Where social justice calls for a dramatic change of me and how I approach life and the world. It's rooted in the social teachings of the church and is the arm of the Canadian Council of Catholic Bishops. So it's important that all priests uh, support, promote, engage, and be informed about the very, very important uh, social justice endeavor at home and abroad. You know, first and foremost, we're Christians, these are our brothers and our sisters, and we have to be informed about them and our responsibility and obligation. And what does love mean? The gospel is inseparable of bringing about change in the world so that it becomes more God's world. And that is our call, to, to, to do something for the poor. That makes us a Catholic and that makes us a Christian, because that is the call of Jesus to all of us. It's just part of our faith life. It's, it's really not an option. Uh, are we going to, going to have the courage uh, to live it out? By fostering development and peace, we help in this mandate of Jesus and in his mission to share life, especially with the poor. I think it's a very good way of, of Christian formation, especially. And that's why I'm very happy with what development and peace is doing. Development piece in my parish is, is really present because it helps my parishioners to learn what's happening in the world. There needs to be uh, programs uh, that uh, show the, the connection between it all and where people can get involved so that they can see the building of the community both locally as well as in solidarity with the international community. It's, it's the most important thing that the, I think that the Catholic Church of Canada does, and therefore it should always be promoted and front and center in, in any of the visions that uh, a parish has. Well, every day a priest in a parish, every Sunday we preach the gospel. And if we're reflecting on what Jesus is saying, and what the church is asking us to do, we have more than a moral responsibility, we have an ethical responsibility, and we have a gospel mandate to respond to issues of the world. People want to uh, be given a chance to see the connection between Sunday morning and their daily life, between Sunday morning and what is happening in the world. The priest is one person, among others of course, within the parish, who bring that forward. We're ministers of the gospel, and I think development and peace is certainly the God, part of the gospel, and uh, the, the church recognizes it, encourages it, and as priests, we have a responsibility to carry that through. I remember a poster I had in my room growing up. If, if you want peace, you gotta work for justice. It's as simple as that.